Hi, I'm Dr. Charles Moker. I want to talk to you about rapamycin cream or sirolimus cream, which is in the name, name for rapamycin. So rapamycin is a drug that was discovered about a, four or five decades ago, and it was used to treat uh, rejection of organ transplant, and then later used to treat certain conditions of the skin where people, particularly young children, grow these abnormal tumors. And what the rapamycin has been shown to do is not only inhibit t tumor growth or inhibit uh, organ transplant, it also seems to uh, make animals and animals younger, even mammals, and it's been studied in humans, being studied in humans currently to see what happens when we take rapamycin either orally or topically in terms of our actual age, does it slow it down or reverse it? And it has reversed uh, ages of animals and flies and different, different creatures, and it's being studied right now in human beings in various studies. One of the things I'm really intrigued about is rapamycin's effect in the skin, because we know the skin safety of the drug rapamycin or sirolimus cream, because it's been used for certain conditions where tum tumors keep growing and actually suppresses the growth of tumors. And the way it works on the skin for aging is it seems to suppress conversion of young cells into old cells, and that's called senescence. So senescence is a hallmark of aging where your cells, as they age, they become damaged and they turn into senescent cells, which are kind of like toxic, and that is a hallmark of aging, which makes, in case your skin, your skin get wrinkly or saggy. And if we could either kill off uh, senescent cells, which is called senolytic drugs, or you can stop conversion into senescent cells, this could potentially reverse aging. So a study was done on uh, healthy volunteers that had, they did that in their hands, so they can have like a control hand when they use a fake cream and a sirolimus cream or rapamycin cream, and use a strength 100 times weaker than the strength used to treat tumors. So it's very low dose and it's known to be safe at these higher doses. What they found was that the skin after several months was younger in appearance, but not only in appearance, they had more what called type seven collagen, which is a collagen that bonds the epidermis, the outer layer skin, to the dermis, the inner layer skin, in a layer called the basement membrane. And that's a layer of your skin that houses all your stem cells. And what they found was that uh, there was less senetic, there was less senescent cells in the treated hand versus the untreated hand. They kept kept it getting older. The skin looked thicker because there was more collagen. The skin looked younger. It had better texture. And we've seen this clinically in patients when they put it on their face. The skin looks younger, and it actually seems to reverse the age of the skin. Although we don't quite know if we can actually say that for sure yet, but that appears to be happening. It's actually reversing the age instead of just protecting the skin. And right now, uh, the sirolimus cream or rapamycin cream is compounded by a pharmacist because the stronger, the, the, the prescription strength, the regular prescription strength is really stronger than you need. And this is a bottle right here that I got from a tailor-made pharmacy and you take the top off and you turn, a click, you turn, a, turn it and every time it clicks, it pushes out a quarter of an ml. And the dose for the face would typically be two to four clicks or a half to one ml applied daily or every other day. A little under 100 bucks for a bottle and there's 30 ml. So if you did one click or four clicks a day, it would be $95 for a month. And I think that might be a good starting dose to sort of turn off uh, what's called gyro conversion or conversion to older cells. And then let them do it a little less often, like maybe every other day. And it might be every other month. I don't think you need to do this uh, significant dose long term. So that's, a, that's something that, that is available. It has been studied in the skin. There's further studies looking at oral rapamycin to slow down or reverse aging. We don't really know the answers to that yet, um, but this is something that is available now in addition to your regular skincare. So I wouldn't say do this in, instead of sunblock or instead of topical vitamin C or instead of topical retinol, which is a vitamin A. I'd use this as an adjunct for somebody who's aged and they want to reverse it. Another thing that I think that's important to point out, it probably does nothing for young, healthy skin because young, healthy skin does not have much senescent cells. So once we've gone past the point of resilience, and resilience is where we can spring back naturally on our own, once we start getting wrinkles, and start getting loss of elasticity or skin, start getting sun damage, then we've lost resilience, and that's when this might be more appropriate. But it is not preventative in the way that vitamin C or retinol or sunblock or glycolics are. So this is where somebody's got skin damage that has already has damage or trying to reverse things. So thank you very much.